Hey guys, this is uh, Phyllis from Hasselion Software. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up Hasbot for the first time. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to have Hasbot running, which we have right here. Uh, it's located in the system tray. Um, you can move it over here if you want, uh, but I'll just leave this here right now. So the very first thing you want to do uh, with Hasbot is you want to make sure that your uh, that the computer that you're running Hasbot on has its uh, time synchronized. Um, this is due to a few exchanges requiring like very sync time to execute orders. Um, but this is very easy, so we'll go ahead and uh, go to our browser and we'll just Google net time. And yeah, the first one we want is uh, net time, the network time synchronization tool. So we'll go ahead and click here. Let's go ahead and run the installer. Let's run it. Yep. So go next. Default path is fine. That's fine. Yes. Uh, install as a service. Keep that checked and install. And then let's finish it. Let's start it. So we've got uh, net time over here. We want to uh, go ahead and click properties. And let's click settings. And yeah, so we want the update interval to be um, once every 15, 15 minutes. Uh, this is the max you can do. Um, everything else is fine, so let's click OK. Let's click Update Now, which syncs our time exactly right now. And that's it. So let's go ahead and uh, open up Hasbot. Um, so basically, first thing you want to do is go to Settings. Uh, we need to do a few things first. Um, all of this is fine just for a very basic setup. Um, the first thing you want to do is click on login credentials, and we want to set this to something. So um, by default, uh, it's admin admin, but you generally want to change this to something else. Um, this is done for security reasons. So if someone like has access to the machine that Hasbot is running, uh, they won't be able to change any of the settings or like mess with the trades in any way. Um, the only thing they can do is turn off Hasbot, and without the password, nothing else really. So we'll go ahead and set this. So create a little password for myself and the automatic logout time you may want to change this um, I put it at uh, 1000 minutes because I like to leave it logged in but um, default I believe it's 10 minutes so you can change this value to whatever you want um, we'll go ahead and click save let's go back to settings as well um, and then now we need to we have the extra security you don't really need to worry about this if you do uh, forget your password and you can't log in uh, correctly within five times, you're, you're going to block yourself. You can just unblock yourself over here. You can also whitelist your IP address here if you want. Uh, but let's click on the API drivers um, tab. And yeah, so basically you want to check every um, exchange that you want either data from or that you want to change to uh, trade on. So these are the exchanges I have selected. So go ahead and select the ones that you want and then click save. So now, um, also when you do select um, API drivers, the software will restart, that's fine. Um, so one that, once it has restarted, uh, just go ahead and click Open Interface. And here we are. This is our interface. Um, so you're going to want to log in with the exact uh, login credentials that you set up. Click Log In. And here we are. So this is the uh, general interface. Um, now that we uh, selected the exchanges that we want to either collect data on or trade on, we are going to click on the exchanges uh, button over here. And then, yeah, and then you're going to go ahead and for each exchange that you selected, it should be green here, um, you want to click connect and then enter in the uh, API um, keys. And when you generate API keys, it's very important that you allow ha allow the permissions for the keys to trade, read the information, and cancel orders if you have that. Each exchange kind of handles this differently. Um, we do not need the uh, ability to withdraw. So yeah, so just go ahead and enter that in. Click save, and repeat the process for each um, exchange that you want to trade on. Uh, you don't need. You can leave them. Um, out, you can leave out the API keys um, if you want. You can, we'll still collect like uh, the price data, but if you want to execute trades, um, then yeah, you need to input the uh, API keys. And the IPs, the API keys are encrypted um, within our software, so you don't have to worry about it being you know, left in plain text or anything like that. So go ahead and do that, and uh, once you're done with that, you are ready to create uh, your first bots.
Um, so check out the next video on how to uh, create trade bots and any other type of bot. So, okay.